I can I can tell you from personal experience, if it's not there from the start, it's never going to be there. Um, regardless, y'all can still co-parent and be good parents at that, but to try and make yourself Today, we're diving deep into a topic that's been stirring up quite a bit of conversation Gypsy Rose Blanchard and her boyfriend, who seem to be under a microscope. If you've been following their social media, you might have noticed something feels off. The signs are hard to ignore. Every time they appear online, there's an unsettling vibe from awkward body language to tense interactions. It's becoming increasingly clear that what we see on screen isn't quite the reality behind closed doors. So let's unpack the red flags that are making themselves evident. The situation started to unravel during their appearance on the VL5 podcast with Nick VI. From the very beginning, it was apparent that things weren't as perfect as they portrayed. When Nick casually asked about their plans for co-parenting after the baby arrives, the conversation took an unexpected turn. Gypsy's initial response seemed normal, but then she dropped a comment that had everyone doing a double take even Ken appeared taken aback. Happy with someone that you're not in love with in that way? I did not realize how much attraction matters in a relationship. Gypsy has also reportedly been reaching out to Ryan and trying to get back on his good side. But the signs have always been there. We can already guess that Ken probably treats- Gypsy stated, I never wanted to make him feel like he's stuck with me. And that's not what I want this raises some serious questions. If their relationship was truly thriving, why would she even mention that? To me, this statement hints at deeper insecurities. If she felt secure in Ken's commitment, such thoughts wouldn't cross her mind, let alone be voiced publicly. It almost seemed like she was hinting at a larger issue perhaps Ken is already feeling trapped and contemplating leaving. This sentiment felt like a defensive mechanism, which is definitely a red flag. The situation escalated when Gypsy directly addressed Ken, saying, I want you to be with me because you're happy in this relationship. You want this relationship. It's her poorly because Ken looks visibly miserable in every live that they do in recent interviews with TMZ. He always seems annoyed when he's around Gypsy, right? I think Gypsy and Ken just subtly told us that they're broken up and they're not together because when they were referencing parenting their child, they kept calling it co-parenting. And when two people in a relationship that have a kid, it's not co-parenting, it's simply parenting. Wait a minute, why does she need to say that? In a healthy relationship, you shouldn't have to remind your partner to be happy with you. The fact that she felt compelled to express this publicly suggests that she might not be as secure in their relationship as she wants everyone to believe. It felt less like a statement and more like a desperate plea for validation, not only from Ken but also from the audience like she needed reassurance in that moment. What made things even more awkward was Ken's response, or rather, his lack of one. He didn't offer any comforting words or reassurances. Most people in his position would likely jump in to affirm their commitment, perhaps saying something like, of course I'm with you because I want to be, not just because of the baby instead, Ken remained silent, and that silence spoke volumes. His lack of response suggested either indifference toward her insecurities or a reluctance to engage with them. Close sources and family friends are saying that Ken and Gypsy have been in couples counseling together and that he's very mean to Gypsy, which I'm not really sure why you're in couples counseling if you started talking in February and started dating in April. Y'all have only been in a relationship for six months, so these red flags are blood red. Then Gypsy made another striking comment, just because we have a child together doesn't mean you are obligated to stay with me. There are lots of options for us. If you don't want this child, I will be the mother. That is my responsibility. This statement raises even more questions about the stability of their relationship and what the future holds for both of them. All right, let's unpack this. It feels a bit manipulative was Gypsy trying to test Ken by pushing him to publicly affirm his commitment? The way she presented it came off less like an open dialogue and more like a guilt trip. You know what they say, if you have to guilt someone into staying, they're probably already halfway out the door. But it gets even more intense. Gypsy followed up with, that is your choice if you want to show up, yikes. It was almost as if she was daring him to prove her fears wrong while simultaneously giving him an escape route, all under the watchful eyes of the public. This didn't feel like a healthy conversation between two people in love, it felt more like an ultimatum. And Ken? He remained silent. No reaction, no comfort, nothing. It was as if he had mentally checked out of the discussion, and you could see the emotional chasm widening between them. So it's kind of like, I need to know how you react to conflict. How, what are your parenting goals? What are your parenting skills? Like, you know, what are, what are your um, thoughts for the future? If you think that's the end of it, there's more. 
The conversation took an even more awkward turn when Nick mentioned marriage. Gypsy quickly interrupted Ken when he began discussing it, saying she was still going through a divorce and didn't want to feel pressured to marry him just because of the baby. Fair enough, but then she kept insisting she didn't want him to feel forced into anything. Why keep reiterating that point? It felt like she was trying to convince herself more than anyone else. And Ken? He just sat there with that awkward grin plastered on his face, the tension radiating off him. He didn't say a word about wanting to marry her, which only fueled speculation that he might not be as invested in the relationship as Gypsy wants him to be. It was clear she was doing all the emotional heavy lifting while he appeared emotionally absent. Those are all really significant conversations. Um, and here we are a month in and we're already pregnant, so... Speaking of commitment, let's not forget the promise ring Gypsy gave Ken, which led some to view her as manipulative, as if she were trying to bind him without giving him much of a say. Fast forward to the podcast, and Ken wasn't even wearing the ring. Coincidence, or does it signify that it means nothing to him now? Either way, it doesn't look good. Every little detail seems to paint a bigger picture neither of them wants to acknowledge. By the end of the podcast, viewers were buzzing, many thinking the same thing this relationship is hanging by a thread. Ken's reaction, or lack thereof, when Gypsy mentioned her ex, Ryan Anderson, was another glaring red flag. The moment Ryan's name came up, Ken's entire demeanor shifted he became visibly tense, tapping his foot and fidgeting. The mention of Ryan seemed to trigger him. It raises questions has Gypsy truly moved on from Ryan as she claims, or is Ken sensing something deeper? With all the confusion surrounding her pregnancy timeline, some are speculating that Gypsy might still be holding on to Ryan in case the baby turns out to be his. Honestly, who can blame them? There are so many unanswered questions that make this whole situation feel even messier. And let's talk about their social media presence which has raised eyebrows. If you look closely, the awkwardness is almost painful to witness. Remember that live stream at the San Francisco airport? Ken looked absolutely miserable. His body language screamed, I don't want to be here and it was hard to overlook. From the start you could sense something was off. Ken vented about having to arrive at the airport three hours early and his frustration was palpable. Um. And also, I never wanted to make him feel like he is stuck with me. That is not what I want. Perhaps Gypsy wanted to grab some attention, maybe hoping to be noticed by fans or even TMZ. But Ken was clearly not having it. He seemed beyond annoyed, and when he complained about waiting for hours before their flight, his tone was sharp. When he dismissed the idea of shopping while they waited, saying who wants to go shopping at an airport, it was clear this was about more than just the airport it was about their entire relationship dynamic, and Ken was fed up. Gypsy tried to lighten the mood, but it only backfired, revealing the growing tension between them. One commenter remarked that Ken is distant with Gypsy, while another pointed out the complete lack of chemistry between them. Honestly, they're not mistaken. The more you observe their interactions, the more it becomes clear that something is seriously amiss. Ken often walks ahead of Gypsy instead of beside her, appearing completely disengaged. Whether it's their awkward public appearances or the fact that Ken is waiting for DNN results before making any significant decisions, it all points to one conclusion their relationship is in deep trouble. Rumor has it that Gypsy isn't happy either. There have been whispers that she's been texting Ryan, expressing her frustrations about how mean Ken is to her. If that's true, it only adds to the evidence that their relationship is unraveling. Both seem dissatisfied, and it's just a matter of time before something gives. So what do you think? Is Gypsy genuinely trying to manipulate Ken into staying, or is she honestly attempting to communicate her feelings? Do you believe Ken will remain committed once those DNA results come in? Share your thoughts on their body language and behavior. Are they both putting on a facade facade for the public, or is there something deeper at play? That's all for today, folks. Catch you next time.